Wow, that's like a little crab that's moving on top of the oyster. I don't think I've ever seen anything like I, this I before. I have seen that before. That's so cute. Do you think I should eat it? Yes, it just ate it. It just ate it. Hopefully it's not contaminated. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Steve from Rockstar Eater coming to you with another rockin' episode. And today I am out here in Orange County, specifically in Garden Grove, because I'm gonna be checking out a rockin' buffet spot. But I am not doing it alone today. I have a very special guest with me. Rainer Huang! Yay! Oh! Hi! Wow, that's so <laughs> awesome. So, Raina, where are we at today? We're here at Nova Kitchen. It's really special today because on Sundays, they have an incredible brunch, all-you-can-eat menu, and we're going to be eating a lot of food today. Oh, yeah. So, if you guys want to see one of the most awesome, mind-blowing buffet experiences you can find in the OC, then stick all the way to the end because you don't want to miss any of this amazing all-you-can-eat seafood buffet experience they have here on Sundays at Nova. And also, if you're new to this channel, take a moment right now to hit that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell, because I post these food and travel videos weekly you don't want to miss out on. So go ahead, do that right now. And in the meantime, we're going to be heading in. Are you hungry? Yes. All let's right, go. let's go. Woo! This is an upscale Japanese Asian fusion restaurant. I want to let you know that this isn't a buffet restaurant per se. It's more of like an a la carte, kind of fine dining, but they do have this special Sunday brunch buffets that runs from, I believe like 11 to 2.30 on Sundays, but they got a lot of amazing stuff, including the seafood. Let's check this out. So in this section, this is where we have all the fruits. Looks like they're kind of running low on it, but they have some pineapples and cantaloupe, uh, melons. I think you see some grapes there. And this one, ube pancakes. Okay, that's pretty nice. Ooh, this is uh, bacon wrapped tenderloin. I don't think I've ever seen a bacon wrapped beef before. All right, I'll definitely try this. So let's see everything they have at this breakfast buffet line. We got some wings here. We got some Thai chili, and this one is the uh, buffalo. And then we got some fried potato with peppers, and this one is orange duck. Then moving along, we got some garlic rice. That's pretty good. And this one is the longanisa, like sausages, you know, like the Filipino sausages. And this one is the sausage links. Yeah, all breakfast items. This is the pork belly egg benedict. All right, very elevated. And this one is the shrimp scampi. It looks like they just refilled it. Oh yeah, if you love pasta, seafood, they got it. We got some eggs and there's the bacon. They have sushi here as part of your uh, brunch buffet. We got some salmon nigiri, and this one is the vegetable roll. This one is a California roll, I think, yeah. And this one, what is this one? It's our spicy tuna roll. Spicy tuna roll, okay. They don't have labels on them, so I'm just trying my best. And then up here we have... Uh, the double hamachi. The double hamachi, okay, good stuff. Oh yeah, so this is the seafood. This is what everybody comes for for the Sunday brunch. Oh, there's a lot of them kind of stuck to the ice. That's pretty nice. Get here early in the day or else these will run out. And oysters, oh, that's so cool. These are the raw oysters. You see, it's pretty elevated. I mean, even look at the shrimp. Man, they don't get cheap on you. These are like really big jumbo shrimps here. I like it. And they have the condiments here too, like some cocktail sauce, which I think they're gonna refill. And let's see, we got some horseradish, and then mignonette sauce, and plenty of lemon. Yep, this is, is all brunch. very breakfasty, I would yeah. say. Oh, and then we got rice. Okay, we gotta have some rice. Absolutely. <laughs> it was like a thick, spicy sauce. I'm just gonna drizzle Ooh, that on top. Ooh, wow. You're very generous with that sauce on the beef tenderloin. I love spicy sauce, so can never have enough. Look at that. I gotta catch up with you, so I think I'm just gonna get everything of what you got. This already looks so, so good. <laughs> oh yeah. This one right here comes with an onion ponzu sauce. Ooh, Reina, that looks fancy. That does. Yeah, and for some some of that too. And in case any of you guys don't know who Reina is, 
She is a YouTuber. She posts a lot of great food videos where uh, she's known for eating quite a bit of stuff from what I heard. Yes. Yeah, so check her out. Yep, yeah. everything is going to be in the video description link. Uh, Reina is crazy, right? Yes, thank you so much. Thank All you. right. Yeah, I'm so glad you're here today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. This looks amazing. I can't wait to dig in. It is. You what know, should we even start with? It's kind of so much stuff. I know. This is a lot of stuff. Well, you know, there's a part of me that really just wants to just jump straight into the good stuff. Okay. Yeah, so what I mean by that is... Oh, okay. The crab. The crab. Wow. Oh, wow, yeah. look at this. And you know the crazy thing is if you get here late, this thing actually runs out. Oh wow. Yeah, so just letting you know, don't come here at one o'clock because this might be gone by then. So get here by at least 12 p.m. Mm. Oh wow. This is all you can eat? Apparently. Look at how big the meat. This is pure meat, by the way. Exactly. Yeah. Let's cheers. Cheers. Mm. I taste like um, the sea. Mm -hmm. I couldn't get the bone off this one. That's right, there's bone. You see it? Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of be careful with that. Yeah, so they don't play around. Like, no. they don't give you those, you know, those tiny ones you see sometimes in yeah, the restaurants? Yeah, no, this is all you can eat. Huge shrimps. All right, Ooh, let's cheers. try it. Mmm. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It's like, um, you know those huge shrimp cocktails they have at steakhouses? Mmm, yeah. Oh yeah, where's the cocktail sauce? That's what it needs. Mm. It's back there somewhere. Oh yeah. Raina, you forgot the cocktail sauce. <laughs> Doesn't that look pretty, uh... It's like noodle porn right there. Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's try this. Mmm. Mm. Wow. Oh, it's very creamy. Wow. I'm actually surprised by the quality of the pasta. It's The pasta is cooked perfectly too. You know some all-you-can-eat places, their pasta is just so soggy. Mm -hmm. This one's cooked al dente. Mm -hmm. mm. Yeah, so based on what I'm eating so far, I would say that this is a very elevated Sunday brunch experience. Mm -hmm. So it's not just your, um, your typical continental breakfast food, you know what I'm saying? Yes. But you know what I'm looking at now is the um, is the beef actually. The beef. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Beef time. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, oh, that's very pleasant. Very smoky. Very rich. Mm-hmm. And to my surprise, very tender as well. Wow. And look, they have all this bacon on top of it too. Yeah, Woo! this bacon is like candy. It's mm -hmm. sweet. It's savory. Mm-hmm. Mm -mm. Mm. That's good. You know, so far, I would say that this is um, one of the most enjoyable buffets I've been to in the OC, I actually. Agree. I agree. Yeah. Well, I just want one of the best buffets in general. Like oh, you said, yeah. everything, all the quality is very good. Okay, so this one is a Filipino food, I think. Yes, and I love these. You do? Yeah, Longanisa is like sweet because I don't like it when sa sausages are too salty. Okay. Yeah. Okay. 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 <laughs> All right. No problem. All right. I'm, I'm kind of more the other way, but. Oh, I see. Mm. Now, so Longanisa is Filipino fat sweet mm. sausages, almost kind of like a Chinese sausage, I would yeah, say. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. But Chinese sausage is not as fat as this one. You know what this is, Reina? Yeah, so, I mean, they have this set up over there. And you can get as much as you want, but we got a little bit of everything. We got all these colorful dim sum, which is pork belly, uh, pork soup dumplings. And then we have these uh, vegetables and pork dumplings, crystal dumplings. I believe these are red bean buns. That's what it looks like. And they're so cute. Look at this little piggy. Look at yep. the little nose. It's so adorable. Yep. And then these are classic um, dim sum items, which is the shumai and the hargao, which is shrimp crystal dumplings and then uh, really juicy pork dumplings as well. And I want, I want to show you guys one of the... Uh, inside I actually I really I really want to open this no, no. all right let's <laughs> look how cute this is okay, let's see what's inside oh it is red bean see I was right oh and look how soft and fluffy that bun is I know oh. all right let's try this out is mm. it like a classic taste mm -hmm. mm. very simple but it's still good yeah. just like out of a Chinese restaurant exactly what is that one this one is like a chive and shrimp dumpling. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Mm. Chive and shrimp. That sounds pretty good, actually. Really cool. Is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I'm at a dim sum restaurant. 
I love I love this vegetable. My mom makes a lot of dumplings. She always uses this vegetable. It's a, it's a little bit strong, um, but you know once you kind of get used to it, it's a little bit of an acquired taste. But I love it. Good to know. <laughs> mm, yeah, mm. mine is the buffalo. Mm. Now I feel like I'm in a sports bar. Yeah. It's so, very meaty. Yeah. I'm one of those people. I feel like I can eat 20 of these in a sitting. Oh yeah. Mm hmm. Oh, no, 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 a funny record of mine. Um, so for one uh, wing eating contest, I ate 108 wings in 10 minutes. Oh, seriously? Yeah. <laughs> oh, boy. I love wings, yeah. Oh, man, I wish I could actually see that today, but... Um... I don't think they got enough wings, even though it's a buffet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they probably got frightened when they heard you were coming here. <laughs> oh, Reyna, too bad you can't eat sushi because it's like I've been waiting to eat this this whole time, actually. Yeah, go for it. Yeah, so you actually don't eat sushi, like the mm -hmm. raw fish? Mm -hmm. Okay, is it just because you don't... I don't like it. Ah, I see. Got I've it. given it a try. I've given it many tries. I just don't like it. Okay, yeah. so, but at least you tried it before, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I've even been to Japan, tried the sushi there, and mm -hmm. I just don't like it. Like, mm. it is what it is. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay, so that salmon's pretty solid. I mean, it's not omakase quality, but still, for a buffet like this, it's, it, it does the trick. It's good enough. So, Raina, I've been dying to ask you. Yeah. Do you, you know the food challenges that you do on your channel? Mm -hmm. Do you eat like that all the time? No. Really? <laughs> no. Okay. No. Yeah, despite what many people think, like I t have to take like off times. Mm -hmm. And like, it's funny, I do these food challenges, but I'm probably like one of the strictest people you'll ever meet on my diet. Mm. Like when I'm not doing videos or stuff, like I eat so plain at home. Just mm. brown rice, steamed veggies, just some broth. Yeah. Got and it. I work out like at least two hours every day. All right, flex those muscles. Let's see it. <laughs> it's, it's oh, yeah, muscles, you it's see? Just, it's a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. So, in case you guys were ever wondering how she stays so fit, that's the secret right there. So, well, we created a brownie here, and then this one is a ube pancake. So if you're wondering what ube is, it's a very popular uh, flavor in, uh, like, Filipino food. So it's kind of like taro, and if you've never had taro, it's like a sweet potato. You know, it's got that, like, subtle sweetness to it, you know. And I think that's, like, some sort of a ube jam that's on top of it. Yeah, yeah, ube syrup, ube jam, whatever you want to call it. All right. It. Let's try it. Mmm. Mmm. Okay. Oh, that's actually very delightful. Yeah. Mm. So it's like soft, crispy, and it has that, you know, like that sweet potato ube flavor? Yeah. So ube, it's like a root, right? So it's got like that a more of an earthy, sweet flavor to it rather than like pure sweetness. Mm. I kind of feel like I'm eating a... Um, it tastes more like a cake than a pancake. It tastes like a cupcake. Yeah, so like I would totally consider this dessert. I wouldn't get this just like to eat it like as pancakes. It's very, very like heavy, more rich, right? But I like it though. It's good. It's good. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. So if you guys are looking for one of the hottest seafood buffets you can find in Orange County, yeah, this place you got to come to because it's not like one of those places where it's all quantity but not quality. Mm -hmm. They actually deliver. Yeah, this is definitely one of the best buffets I've been to actually in Orange County. Nice, nice. Me too, me too. Yeah. yeah. Well, anyways, yeah, thank you so much for uh, joining me here today. I really appreciate it. Yeah. For me. So once again, guys, Raina, follow in on her. It'll all be in the video description link. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much for watching, guys. Give me a like, give me a subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next food adventure.